Procade, it's a mega flutter UI kit built for the developers to design modern and user-friendly apps quickly without compromising the quality and without reinventing the wheel. And if you want to know more about the Procade, you can check out the promo videos, we will give the link in the i button. And in this tutorial, we are going to see how to use our ready-made widgets in your existing project or a new project. So let's just imagine you want to create your own screen by yourself, your creation. So then you can just use our widgets that we have in the Pro Kit. There are tons of widgets available, but different, different kinds. And you can just use and show your creation. So in this video, we will see how to add a app bar, list view, and the navigation bottom button. So let's start the tutorial. So firstly, you have to create your own new project or uh, if you have your existing, you don't have to do this step. So we will create a new project. We will give the name and we will just click on finish and it will take some time according to your device. So wait for it. And once it's made, we have some unwanted files or you want say functions and all that stuff available default into the project when you create a new one. So we'll just remove all of them from the device and we will then create a container in the home and we will just run the project. And once this new project is run and made, we will go to our existing project of the ProKit that we have provided to you. And in that, we will go into the libraries. And in the libraries, we have widgets section. And in the widgets, we will go into the material widgets. And in the material widgets, you can see the first option, which is app structure widgets. And we will go into that. And then we will go into the app bar screens. You can see we have the app bar screen option. We will click on that. So I'm using this app bar right now. So I will just select and copy it and I will take it to my new folder or project and I will just uh, go into library and I will create a new, what I say, directory for it. And here I will call it screens. And then in the screens, I will create a new Dart file and that Dart file name would be home screens. And after creating home screen dart, we will create a stateful widget in it. And in that we will give the class name home screen and scrolling down. You can see that there is careful folder that we have where you will insert your widgets. So we will just click here. We will just right click here and we will select the app bar option. Now in that we will paste our app bar that we have copied from our existing project. And you can see it has been copied and in the data, uh, there are some missing things that is uh, firstly I will change the color to the whichever color you want or right now I am just adding it black and I will also change other color forms that is the primary color to color I want that is white and in below that we can see there is one more option which is on press if you want to add that you can add it here I don't need that I want I just want to show you the screens so I will remove this functionality right now now after that we will go again to our uh, existing project of Procate and in that we will now get the packages that we want for this widgets. I will just take it to the new project in and in the pubsec.yamin in the dependencies I will paste it here and I will just run the pubkit and it will take some time so just wait for it. Now you can see that our pubkit has been run but here you can see there is bold text style there is an uh, error in it so i will just right click it and import the library for the package so i will just do that and you can see our package has been added up here now uh, i will just copy this home screen name and i will add it into the container or replace the container with that name so that will be our home screen for the main dart now let me show you the preview of it so this is how our app bar will look like into the page that we will create. There is a page title name. You can change the tags and whichever functionality you want. It's totally depending on you. This is the one of the widgets. Now let's add a list view into our body. And for that, you have to go into the home screen that and in that in this scaffold, you have to select the body. And after selecting that, let's go to the our existing project that we have. And in that we will go into the material widgets again, like before and in that you can see there are some information display widgets available and in that you will go into the list view. We have different types of list view available in the screens. So you can select whichever you like, you can select it or choose it from the apps. And I will select randomly one of the screen view that I want and I will just minimize all the code and copy that 
particular screen or widget that I like for the body or the list view and take it to the new Flutter app that I have and I will paste it there. Now in the code you can see that there are some missing file that is data list and all that. I will just again go to the existing project and copy that and paste it into my new project below here. So the queries can be solved. You can see that it has been removed. Still, uh, I have to change the color to whichever color I want. I am changing it to right now blue. So it looks a little different. And below that, there is the style, which is bold text styler. I will also change the color of it. Then I will update it now. And again, in the list view, I want to change this color from blue to black. So I will just change that to black color and I will update it again. So finally, our list view has been added into the project. Let me show you the preview that I have added. So you can see this is our app bar and below that, this is the list view. Let me just scroll it for you. Yeah, like when you scroll it, this is how it looks. Now let's go back to our project and now we will add a navigation bottom button. So uh, I will just select it from this section. Sorry, I said it button, but it's bottom navigation bar. So I will just select that option and now I will go back to my existing project and in the same widget section, I will just go into another option that is uh, app structure widget that we were already in. And then I will go into the bottom navigation widgets that we have. There are different kinds of whatever navigation widgets you can just select whichever you like. I am selecting random from it. You can select uh, which is best fit for you. So I will just minimize all the code and I will again copy it for myself and I will add that container. It's written container here. So I will just copy that container here and paste it into my new project after the bottom navigation bar. And you can see there are some missing files and functions or the variables that are needed. So I will go back to my what our existing project and find those functions and variables and copy them and paste it into our new projects. And one by one, I will just paste and copy and paste those and our queries will be solved accordingly. And after all the queries are solved, you can simply just save the project. And after that, you can run the project. And at the end, you will get the result you want with the screens. Let me show you the whole preview now. So this is our app bar, then the list view and bottom side, you can see that our navigation bar has also been added. So this is how you can use our widgets and create your own screen and show your creativity into your own app. So I will just complete it here. You can use the Procade just like our 2500 plus businesses and individuals who have already launched their app using our Procade. Develop your Flutter app 10 times faster with Procade today.